Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday coming at you with... These are our last two boxes of Prism Premier League, actually. We've been sharing these uh, the, these boxes, the case that we popped open, we've been sharing them with the Personals channel. So yeah, these are the last of the two box breaks. But thanks everyone for rocking through these. Um, hopefully we'll get another case, so keep an eye on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All cards ship, there's all the teams right there. Thanks to everyone here. And all the clubs are there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Three and a five, eight times. How's everyone's bracket doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Michael's Oregon Ducks yeah, cruised today. Jason down to Nick after eight. Eight times for the clubs. We got Tottenham down to Crystal Palace, Leeds. All right, Jason with Tottenham, Ryan with Chelsea, Brian with Brighton and Hove Albion, Jason with West Ham United, Jonathan Griffin, you got my team, Liverpool, Hyun Min with Man City, Justin with Everton, Matthew with Arsenal, Robert with Southampton, Jose with Aston Villa, Michael, you got Man United, Chris with Newcastle United, Robert with Leicester, Jonathan with the Sheffield United West Brom combo, Michael with Burnley, Jason with Fulham, Bill with the Wolverhampton Wanderers, the Wolves, and Nick with the Crystal Palace Leeds combo. Let's sort alphabetically by column A. There you go, Michael. You, you know Manchester United. Any trades? If you want more soccer, we do have more soccer on the site, folks. We've got Immaculate Soccer, one box, random number block breaks. And we have also have um, Gold Standard Soccer on the website. That's also a random number block break. In fact, I think Nick K just sold out um, Immaculate. So that's coming up a little bit later after we do a couple more breaks. All right, so as for Prism Premier League Soccer, looks like no trade, so let's roll. TWC trade window closed. So consumed with the uh, with the March Madness College Basketball Tournament, I have no idea what's happening in soccer. What happened? Erlen Holland storms off following late goal in draw. He's not happy. Man City beat Everton in the uh, in an FA Cup semi. You no, know, to reach the FA Cup semi. Yeah, looks like they're gonna win. They're going to win the title for sure. They'll probably win the FA Cup. That's a double. Could they win a triple? I think the uh, Champions League is the elusive, an elusive uh, trophy for them. They want to win that for sure. Probably more than they want to win the league. An anti-Euro 2020 tournament drone interrupts a La Liga game for some reason. They don't want the your tournament to happen? All right, I guess, it, I guess it's political. Uh, Man United to lose 17 million pounds a year with Team Viewer spo shirt sponsor deal. They're gonna lose? Uh, wait, Man United have secured a five-year shirt sponsor deal with a global technology company, Team Viewer, with source telling ESPN that the contract's worth 47 million pounds a year. Oh, a drop. An annual drop of $17 million on their expiring con sponsorship with Chevrolet. I got gotcha. you. Not as big. Yeah, those shirt sponsorships. 
Jersey sponsors are pretty huge. Why did Erlen Holland storm off? No, oh, he was he was just unhappy that they lost, that they needed the late goal to even get a point. All right, all right, good. I like that. There's Matthew Lawton for Burnley. There's Jordan Ayew for Palace to 99. Did I, did I not print out this list? I don't think I printed this out. So eager to get into the break. The well, Holland stormed off, but for good reason. He wanted to win. I guess you shouldn't really be losing to FC Cologne, right? I think Southampton also goes to Southampton going to the uh, semifinals of the FA Cup. They beat Bournemouth. All right. So here is the final printout, hot off the presses. And I think the I think the Champions League quarterfinals. That draw happened. I think it's Real Madrid versus Liverpool. That should be pretty fun. And Bayern Munich versus PSG. Porto versus Chelsea as well. Man City versus Borussia Dortmund. So. Champions League quarterfinal action happening. Those should be a fun set of games as well. And the autograph behind Nathan Redman is Kyle Lafferty flashback autographs for Burnley. That's for Michael P. Phil Foden, Ashley Westwood, Silver for Burnley. Man City, Phil Foden. That's Hyun Min with that one. Phil Foden playing some excellent football. Bruno Fernandez for Man United. Is pretty strong. And there's Fabian Schar for Newcastle. That'll be for Chris. There's Jack Stevens to 195. Harry Winks. Robert Runkle with Southampton. They're advancing to the FA Cup, English FA Cup semi semifinals. There's Jeffrey Schulp for Crystal Palace. There's Isaac Hayden, 95 out of 99. That is um, also for Newcastle. That's for Chris. And Nick Nguyen has the Crystal Palace Leeds combo. There's Takumi Minamino for Liverpool. Jonathan. There's Aubameyang for Matthew Shira and Arsenal. And there's the Tottenham keeper to 195. Hugo Lloris. 007 out of 195 for Jason Parsons. Do 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 There's Serge Aurier, Sergei Aurier for Tottenham, Jason Parsons. Also get this Deli Alley too, he's pretty dynamic. There's Jeff Hall for Liverpool. 
Oh, nice. And a Bukayo Saka. Matthew Shearer with Arsenal. That's one of the one of the more more valuable, maybe most valuable player out of this set this year for this particular product. There's Matthias Pereira, 33 out of 195 for West Brom. That'll be for Jonathan. A lot, of, a lot of these cards are pretty crazy. I mean, if that Saka was a was a lower numbered parallel, that could easily be hundreds, not thousands, at some point. Out of the hobby edition, we we pulled a few. We did a lot of those breaks. We pulled a few of those gold. I think the out of fives are gold power, is what they call them, instead of the more familiar gold vinyl, but. Either way, we pulled those out of fives, and like each one, I think the first one that we pulled, I forget who it was, we looked it up, I think it was well over $1,000. It's crazy. I think what's, uh, I think what's kind of annoying about the Champions League is that I think at least these quarterfinal matches are going to be on. I don't think they're going to be on TV. Well, they're they're going to be on a streaming platform. I think it's the CBS streaming platform, which is now Paramount Plus or something like that. Do I have to get another streaming channel to watch a Champions League? I suppose I could, you know, go with a alternative website to watch the game in a different way. But then the quality can be spotty with those. Someone should just, someone should just package up all these different streaming channels and put it on one streaming channel. Oh wait, that's cable TV. That's what we do now. I'll bet that's how it's going to go at some point, which is kind of ironic. All right. There's Nathan Tella for Southampton. And we've got Roman Seiss. One out of nine. That's, that's right. B. Clay. Mason Greenwood, another, another one of the top players to look for in this set. Bill has the Wolves, by the way. There's Dean Henderson, silver, for Man United. That'll be for Michael, the, uh, the backup to David De Gea. There's Federico Fernandez for Newcastle, for Chris. And a nice blue Phil Foden, five, 51 out of 195. England has a bunch of youngsters like Phil Foden climbing up the ranks here. And there you go, Manchester City. That'll be for Hyun Min. There's Fabio Silva. And we've got... A uh, Pablo for Nals, 117 out of 195 for West Ham United. Jason with the hammers. Another one for Bill and Wolves. Sadio Mane for Liverpool. And Chris Basham for Sheffield. And that's Jonathan with the blades we got Alan San Maximin 54 out of 99 for Newcastle and there's the Mason Greenwood we were talking about Manchester United Michael Michael P with that one Let's take a quick look on 130point.com. Let 
Let's see what a base goes for. Mason Greenwood. A red cracked ice sold for $90 recently. Yeah, about 26 bucks. 20, 25, 30 dollars. Boom, just like that. If this was a parallel, the hundreds of dollars. Isn't that crazy? Not too shabby. There's Curtis Jones. Ollie Watkins for Aston Villa. Donnie Vandebeek to 195, blue. Yeah, that, that Mason Greenwood grades out nicely. You get even more return on investment. Mason Greenwood turns out to be the superest of superstars for Manchester United. I mean, that's going to be good. Here's Curtis Jones for Liverpool. That's for Jonathan Griffin. And the last little bit here. And the last card is going to be Olivier Giroud. That is it for uh, Prism Premier League Breakaway Edition for now. There may be more, so keep an eye on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We, we always try to have a little bit of stalker stocked on the site as much as we can. So keep checking it out. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm Joe, and I'll break more footy with you next time. Bye-bye.